So, you've come at last. I began to think I should never see you. I am so ill. I can hardly speak. I haven't seen a creature the whole morning. Suppose I were to be seized in some dreadful way. I'm not able to ring the bell. Lady Russell, I notice. Would not come in person. I do not think she's been in this house three times this summer. Lady Russell cordially asked to be remembered to yourself and Charles. Oh, Charles is out shooting. I haven't seen him since seven o'clock. He said he would not stay long, but he hasn't come back, has he? I do believe if Charles were to see me dying, he wouldn't believe there was anything the matter with me. Well, you know, I always cure you when I come to Applegrass. So, how is everyone at the Great House? Oh, I can give you no account of them, I assure you. Not one of them has been near me. It doesn't happen to suit the Miss Musgroves, I suppose, to visit the sick. Oh, perhaps you will see them before the morning is gone. Oh, I do not want them, I assure you. My sisters-in-law talk and laugh a great deal too much for one in my condition. And Henrietta goes on and on about that wretched curate from Winthrop. Oh, Anne. Why could you not have come earlier? It is so unkind. Oh, my dear Mary, I really have had so much to do. What can you possibly have had to do? Oh, a great many things, as a matter of fact. Oh. Well. Dear me. You haven't asked me one word. About our dinner at the pools yesterday. Well, I thought you must have been obliged to give up the engagement. Oh, uh, no, I... I was very well. Yesterday, it's... It's, it's just a day. I... I feel like death. Had you a pleasant party? Nothing remarkable. One always knows beforehand what the dinner will be and who will be there. It is so very uncomfortable not having a carriage of one's own. Charles's parents took me. It was so crowded. They take up so much room. I was crushed into the back seat with Henrietta and Louisa. And I think it most likely that my illness today may be owing to it. Mm. You know, Anne. I'm feeling somewhat improved. I was assuming I do not relax. Should we walk after lunch into the great house? Oh, I'd like that. I ought to have called on you first, of course. So you ought to have had the manners to know what is due to you as my sister. But I wouldn't dream of standing on ceremony with people I know so well as the Musgroves. <laughs> 